Hello and welcome to my big Because We Can Readathon reading vlog. That was a mouthful, I'm so sorry. It is officially day two of the readathon, but I was trying to finish other books yesterday, so that's why I'm starting today. I'm still be going from Monday to Sunday though, just because I can, because we can. Anyway, starting off with two books right now. This is my lovely A Touch of Magic Designs um, book sleeve. My Zodiac Academy themed one, my Blue Lance one. Anyway, so I did actually start Electric Idols yesterday. I think I've read like three pages by Katie Robert. This wasn't in my TBR, but it was supposed to be. I forgot to talk about it. But this is going to be my book for the rent prompt. It's the hard challenge where it's read a book starting with R, E, N, or T, and E. And it's also queer, I think. Most of Katie Roberts' books are very queer, so there's that. Um, so I think this is about Psyche and Eris, who are both children of the 13, like, leaders of... Um, modern Olympus and Psyche is the daughter of Demeter she's also the sister of Persephone who was in the first book Demeter's trying to set Psyche up with the new Zeus um, but I think something's gone wrong between Aphrodite and Demeter because Aphrodite has now hired her son Eris to kill Psyche but the real romance is between Psyche and Eris. So I'm very excited to see because, like, obviously I'm meant to kill you, but I'm going to fall in love with you sort of thing. And then my middle grade prompt, I am going to be reading A Sprinkle of Sorcery by Michelle Harrison. Meredith reminded me that it's actually NADOC week this week. So I was thinking about reading um, Wheeler, the Curry Warrior, but I couldn't find my copy. I don't know what's happened to it. So I'm going to read this. I think I've got either the audio or the ebook on my phone. I might listen to this, but I got this as well. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with these two. Other books on this week's TBR. If you haven't seen my TBR video, I'm also hoping to reread Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass and Saga Volume One. And I think there's another book on here, but I can't remember. But we're currently at Cole's. Feyre fell asleep on the way here. So this is, I'm also, don't have any work this week. Kayla and I are both on holidays. Um, and Lige is on holidays too for school. So we're all just having a grand old time, not going anywhere and just staying at home and just relaxing, hopefully. We're kind of cleaning the place up because we're um, going to be selling and moving soon. That's an update. Just finished watching all of Meredith's updates about wanting to move and buy a house and stuff. And now you get to watch me do it. I think I might start Sprinkle Sorcery now, just because I've got it physically. And um, while I wait for Kale, hopefully he will bring me... Oh, there's a map. That's cool. How cool is that? Um, but yeah, hopefully Kale will bring me a coffee because we have no milk at home and I wanted a coffee and I couldn't have one. Very sad. So let's read some books. There's some bin chickens for Meredith. Always need to find them for her. There's a lot of them over there. Hello. We are off to have coffee with my mum because she's going to Gladstone for the rest of the week and she's taking a large so me and Fedora are going to have coffee and hang out. I am about 50% into Electric Idol and loving it. They've gotten married because it's a marriage of convenience. Chef's kiss. And I'm going to start listening to Queen of Shadows now. And that's probably it for this update. I filmed and edited and uploaded my... Uh, Books I would burn video. But that's it for this update because she's she's cranky. Alright, it's like eleven o'clock at night, but I just finished Electric Idol by Katie Robert. Five out of five stars for this beauty. Maybe it's just because like she's a fat influencer or that like you just know that Eros and Psych just like 
just the way they fall in love with each other and then like the way they just fiercely will protect each other even if they don't think that the other one not going to want the protection if that makes sense I don't know I just I love them so much I don't know how she's gonna top this like neon gods I was like I feel like she's written this before but this is just I love it love it love it and there wasn't any like miscommunication trope it was literally like trying to stop the other person from doing something they would regret. And like, I just want to read Wicked Beauty now, but I can't. I can't because I gotta stick with my TBR. But I'm really like, I don't know, I like to see what she's gonna do with the rest of the series. I'm really interested to see who she's gonna put Hermes with. I have a feeling it might be Eris, but I don't know, like there's already been so many like changes to the power dynamics for the 13 already and there's only been two books so I don't know but like I'm really excited for Icarus and Poseidon's book because I just read up about Icarus and um I think from what I gather he was trying to run away him and his dad were trying to run away from somebody so they were had angel wings like made by Daedalus and he flew too close to the sun and fell into the ocean and died and obviously Poseidon is like the king of the ocean so I'm excited to see how that works out um but yeah that's my update I did listen to a bit of Queen of Shadows today and just really upsets me like Kale and Selena loved each other so much she comes back like they're just not meant to be together and that's okay and I just I love this book so much and like the first chapter like I was already bawling my eyes out because of like what happened um I probably should read a source sprinkle of sorcery next because it's a physical TPR book I've also oh no it's too late it's too late I was like I'll read Saga now it's too late to read Saga I'll read Saga tomorrow night because I have to read it no I don't yes I do yeah, I have to read it at night time. And it's also Romeo and Juliet retelling. So I'm going to read Saga tomorrow night. That is my next lot of plans. Tomorrow, Lodge is going with mum to Gladstone for a couple of days. I'm not going to see him. So I let him stay up like an hour and a half past his bedtime tonight. I'm going to miss him. He might be going to the beach this week, which is exciting. So hopefully I'll bring you guys along for that. I need to edit one. I've got two videos there. Like two vlogs I need to edit. One of them is pretty shit. So I don't know if you're ever going to see it. I also need to film. I want to film all my five stars first half of the year. Because I haven't been doing wrap ups. Um, but I still want to talk about my favorite books of the year. So I think I might do like all my five stars for the year. But I usually would use my phone to plan that. But now I'm filming on my phone. And I don't know when I'm going to get my camera fixed. Because there's just so much other stuff happening right now. This lighting sucks. I'm so sorry about that. Cool. I'm going to go to bed now and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello. Using creative stuff to put my phone on. Anyway, I just got a package from Amazon. I don't remember ordering this. So let's uh, find out what it is together. I did get a text today saying that my package from Toll and the tracking number, but when I looked up the tracking number, it says it was unknown. So I wasn't quite sure what was going on. From Ashley. Hey, Sash, thought you'd like a physical copy, plus what kind of co host would I be if I didn't get you one? Ash! Oh my. She's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Uh, so if you didn't know, uh, Ash and I have been running a read-along of the Maduran Chronicles. And this is the only physical copy I didn't have. This is the novella bind-up. And it's this month's book. And that's so sweet. Thank you. I'm going to... I'm going to message you right now. You are the sweetest co-host in the world. Thank you so much. Hello. Um, it's this afternoon. I'm going to go get my hair done. This is... I'm getting my hair cut. Very short. And I'm then going to go home and then dye it. A-E. You'll see. 
Um, but I've read a couple chapters of Promises Stronger Than Darkness today, um, which is for some prompts. I can't remember what prompts they are for. Um, but it also is a net galley arc and it also is a, um, like there's a fat man character. So it's also good for plus size refund as well. I think she said 59. If it's not, I don't know what I'll do. I think I'll just, um, park here, I guess. I'll see you all soon. Oh my gosh. I just noticed. <gasps> That's very short. Now, I'm going to change the color of it. Whew. Yeah, I'm going to go change the color of it now. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I feel so free. It was so long, so thick. She cut it, she put layers through it, she thinned it. <laughs> Somebody I knew six months ago Cause you were someone that loved me at my lows yeah. If she came back you know I couldn't say no But now I see that she don't exist anymore Cut me back down cause now you're posing every time you go out The guys you told me not to worry about all over you I don't know who you are now you didn't really want to save it Got tied up into something that you hated Not sure you even know what you say oh, no. I miss somebody I knew six months ago Cause you were someone that loved me at my own yeah. If she came back you know I couldn't say no But now I see that she don't exist anymore Left us in the past Good things never last I can't have that back Oh yeah, yeah Miss call from So, we're here at the beach Finally Had lunch And now the kids are playing I didn't read anything on the drive up though So I feel kind of sad that I missed that opportunity But maybe on the way back if I'm not tired is Sunday morning. It has been a while since I've updated you. Um, I don't know, this week has just been weird. You can look, you can look. Um, but there's been some developments. I got up to like page 225, no, 246 of Sprinkle of Sorcery and have properly DNF'd it. I just don't really care about the story. Yeah, like I feel like like so things are happening but it's just not and I, I don't know I'm just like it's probably good for a middle grade it's just not something that I really want to read I've read over half of the book so I'm gonna go really and it was a physical book so at least I can take it off my TBR last night on sprints the because we can read it on sprints I did yeah. start and finish saga volume one I love this book. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it's taken me so long to read it. Starting off with her giving birth and she's like, I don't know. I just, I love this. I love how like raw it is and I'm definitely going to pick up the rest of the series. Oh my gosh. Ew. We both got haircuts. I don't know if you realize that. You look up like a right young man now, don't you? <laughs> so it's the last day I still have like 90% of Promises Stronger Than Darkness to read I'm hoping to get through a chunk of that today but it is Feyre's birthday tomorrow so we're going to the park this afternoon to have like a little subway celebration thing with family um, so I need to make her cake for that I'm not quite sure where I'm up to with Queen of Shadows got about 8 hours left <laughs> And that's on two times speed. So I don't think I'll finish that today. So yeah, that's my update. Um, Hello. 
I don't know if I've updated you. I finished Saga last night. Oh no. No, I didn't. That was the night before. Oh no, I think I did update you yesterday and then we had Farrah's birthday party. I didn't update you after that. I read more Promises Stronger Than Darkness, but unfortunately I didn't finish it. But it's the end of the readathon now. So I'm going to continue Promises Stronger Than Darkness, but I don't think I'm going to finish that in this vlog. I'm just going to finish the vlog now so I can edit it and get it uploaded for you. But yeah, um, so I read two books and I DNF'd one. Um, so I read and finished Electric Idol, gave five out of five stars. So good. That was for the R.E.N.T. prompt, the queer prompt, probably others as well. A Sprinkle of Sorcery was for the middle grade prompt. It was also a book featuring magic, maybe. Um, and then Saga was for a book set alongside a wall, as well as a Romeo and Juliet retelling and a book read in between 10 p.m. and no, 9 p.m. and 3 a.m., I think. There's probably other prompts. And I'm in the middle of Queen of Shadows too, but I'm not going to finish that, obviously, either. So, yeah. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos by me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.